So some more phrasal verbs today. Phrasal verbs with back. There are a lot of phrasal verbs with back and you might notice just um, taking a cursory glance that most of these words begin with which they mean they begin with re reduce retake recover retrace steps retract return remind um, there is a reason for this it's because back very often means one more time or in the opposite direction um, so let's have a look then um, I think get back to and go back to are perhaps some of the easiest ones with back because they just mean return you can say for example if you're a teacher let's get back to the main topic of the lesson let's return to the main topic but you could also say let's go back to the main topic and of course it can mean physically return in a car or on a train or something like that I think most people know call someone back as well which means return somebody's call and so you can again see the return aspect of back now if we move on to some difficult ones take someone or something back or bring someone or something back the main reason that these are difficult is because they have a lot of different meanings so if you take something back and you say I said something really wrong I upset someone and so I'd like to take it back that means you are retracting your words you're taking your words back you're saying that you didn't mean what you said earlier or you understand that it's wrong or incorrect in some kind of way so you can take something back like retract a statement and say I'm sorry I take it back I didn't mean it um, you can also take something back to the shop yeah, to get a refund or something like that. Maybe it doesn't work, so you decide to take it back. So it can mean physically return. But you can also use this word metaphorically to mean that something reminds you of the distant past. Yeah, I don't mean remind like somebody reminded me to lock the door. That we would never use take something back. Um, take someone back actually in that way um, when it when somebody reminds you to do something in the future I'm only talking about distant past here so you'll say something like this you'll say the smell of paint takes me back to when I was 11 years old or something like that it reminds me of when I was 11 years old for some reason maybe you smelt a lot of paint when you were 11 but you could say that smell takes me back to when I was that age and here it means exactly the same as it brings me back you can also say it brings me back to when I was 11 years old and here that's why I've written remind here as well and so it means this it takes me back it means it it uh, re reminds me of my past or it brings me back to a time in the distant past okay so bring something back is very similar to take something back you can bring something back to the shop for in order to get a refund you can say that the smell of roses takes me back to when I was playing in my grandmother's garden but you can also use bring something back to mean reenact some kind of law or some kind of policy that the government had. So you could say, I think we should bring back capital punishment, something like that, meaning we should reenact capital punishment. We should bring in new legislation in order to bring back the death penalty. So we could use it like that to bring something back from the past and make it a law again. Or we can also use it to bring back a person, meaning to revive a person. Um, so if a person's almost dying and you manage to wake him up and bring him back, then uh, you, you bring that person back, perhaps from the brink of dying. Um, OK, um, sets something back. If something sets you back, it delays your progress very often. So you can say we have suffered a few setbacks and you can say um, the weather has set us back three months. It's set the project back three months. You can also say it has it has a it has held the project back for three months. Yeah, it has been holding it back for the last three months, something like this. And then it would mean delay or hinder. But you can also use setback like it cost me. You can say this computer set me back £800. Sounds very informal. I think it's British English. I'm not sure they. I've heard the Americans using it, but maybe they do. I'm not sure. And yeah, it just means it costs. It set me back £50. It co cost me 50 quid. Um, 
Okay, hold something back can also mean stop or contain. So you might say that the um, the army has managed to hold back the invaders um, at a certain bridge. It means stop them at that point and held them back, contained them. Um, but you could also hold back a patient. Maybe if a patient is attacking the doctor, he may need to be held back. He may, may need to be restrained. And here... It, we come on to the third meaning of hold back, which it means restrain oneself. And so maybe, uh, here I mean control yourself. Maybe you go, go to a meeting and you're really angry with what your company has been doing recently and you can't hold yourself back. You can't restrain yourself. You have to shout at them and tell them what your, what your problems are, what your emotions are. And so it's really about restraining your emotions if somebody holds themselves back. They restrain themselves. They don't um, let go of themselves. They don't lose control of themselves. Okay, if you go back on your word or you go back on your promise, you break your promise. And really, this phrasal verb does collocate with promises, your word, that those kind of nouns. If a pupil, and I'd usually use this for pupils or young, young children or teenagers, um, if they talk back or answer back, that means that they reply in a rude and cheeky way sometimes, in an impertinent way, yeah? But cheeky in an informal language. We often call youngsters cheeky if they're a little bit rude and perhaps a little bit disrespectful. We'll often call them cheeky. And that, that, that will often be because they talk back or they answer back to the adult in charge. Okay. If you cut back on staff, you reduce the number of staff that you have in the company. If you cut back on cigarettes, you reduce the number of cigarettes that you're smoking every week or every day. So it's always reduce, cut back. If you try to claw back some money, it's always about money, it seems to me. It's very rarely about something else, although it may be, perhaps, in some situations. Never say never. But um, maybe you, your company has been subsidised by the government, um, but unfortunately the government claw back most of those subsidies in taxes. And it means they, re they take the money back. So it really does mean take back, claw back, but it's about money. And it sounds like they did it with great effort as well. It literally sounds like claws are coming in to take the money back, to claw the money back. Um, so it can be used in a few different ways, but really to retake money, that's the me main meaning. Okay, if the economy bounces back, it recovers after a recession or something like that. And if the patient bounces back, then he recovers. He makes a, a full and speedy recovery. So to bounce back is to recover. If you double back, then you retrace your steps. You go exactly the route which you came. Maybe you've uh, suddenly you suddenly notice on the street that your pockets you you haven't got your phone, so you double back to look for it. Yeah, you retrace your steps and try and find it on the way back. If you look back, this can mean to reminisce. Yeah, if you look back on your childhood, or if you look back to when you were just a teenager, that means you're reminiscing. You're recalling that moment of your life. And so, again, very similar to uh, when you say, this uh, smell takes me back to when I was 11 years old. You can also look back to that time as well. Just reminisce. Uh, you could also think back to that time. You can also think back to that moment, meaning recall events from the past. So if I think back to three o'clock yesterday afternoon, I can remember exactly what I was doing. OK, something like that. If you step back or stand back or pull back or draw back, all of these mean the motion of going backwards. Um, so step back, I think, is very clear. It's like this, step back, yeah? But you might say to somebody, stand back. Um, you, might say to, you might say he drew back a few steps, or you might say he pulled back a few metres, maybe. I've got to say, pull back, to me, sounds more often... I think it's more often used for transport when a car pulls back rather than a person pulling back. But they're all about the direction. OK, these are very similar to some other phrasal verbs, but with back as the verb. Um, so if you tell someone to back off, it's just like saying stand back, back off, back off. 
or if somebody backs away it means they take a few steps back and if you're in your car and you back into a garage you reverse into a garage so back into really does mean reverse into and I hope you remember from a few other lessons these three phrasal verbs you can back out of an arrangement which means usually at the last minute you suddenly tell people that you can't go or you can't join in this plan so maybe your friends invite you to a wedding but at the last moment you back out if you back someone up you support them or defend them maybe it could be about defending their position or opinion about something or it could li literally mean in a fight to back them up to offer support physically <laughs> Um, okay, and if you back down, then maybe you support some kind of position, but in the end you surrender and you back down and you say, okay, you win, um, and you, you retract, you, you take back your words, yeah, when you back down. So um, maybe, first of all, you argue, um, you're, you argue in favour of um, animal rights in some kind of way, but in the end people persuade you otherwise and you back down and you say I'm wrong, I was wrong, I'm sorry, and you take your words back. <laughs> okay, so I hope you can see uh, the the main meaning of back and what that what it brings to all of these phrasal verbs. If you have any questions about these phrasal verbs, please put them under the video. And um, thanks for watching. I hope to see you all soon.